So this, making sure that it's, the sun's so bright it's hard to see the lights. This is the old GWS Pico stick. And last time I flew it, I was I had it out a few days ago. Um, well, it, it got took off, but the battery wasn't providing enough power to keep it in the air. And I only got it around one circuit before it came down again. Then the undercarriage fell off. It's just uh, p held on by a piece of glue, piece of wood glued to the stick there, and the glue parted company. And then I taped it back on, and then one of the wheels fell off. Uh, and that, and that also uh, kind of broke the propeller. So I've re-glued the, um, uh, the piece of wood holding the undercarriage to the main stick with SIG aeroplane glue, which I hope will hold it. There's nothing else holding it other than the glue. I didn't, I mean, I could put something round it, but some tape or something, but I didn't for the moment. I put a um, retainer on to hold that wheel on. The other one's still just held on by the piece of uh, tubing, but because I basically, because I only had one of those size of retainer on my bench. And I put on a new propeller, well not a new propeller, but a different propeller, which is in better condition. Maybe not even that's not in perfect condition, but it's in better condition than the other one. Um, now the question is, what battery am I going to fly it with? Not the same one I tried before, obviously, because that's not going to do me much good. So I'm going to try this uh, Gens Ace 30, 1300 mAh 2 cell, which... Where's the connector? Famous last words, oh, there it is. Um, certainly, should, it's new. It's the only new battery I've got around that size. I was in a couple of hobby shops this week. I was in Paris Junction Hobbies, and then I was also on Sunday, I was up in Kitchener, so I dropped into Flightcraft. But neither of them had a battery of the right size. Neither of them had, you know, something around 11, 1200 two cell. <sighs> so, I'm stuck, I'm limited to this guy. This guy, the problem with this guy is he'll provide plenty of power. How to pick the thing up, it's rather awkward because it, uh, <sighs> to know what to pick it up by. Stick, maybe, back here. Yeah, see, that battery's a bit heavy, which worries me. It's a little bit heavier than what I... I used to fly with the Wild Scorpions. I had three Wild Scorpion 1100s, and they were great, but they flew this kind of plane and some other things quite well. But... Unfortunately, I still have them, I didn't lose them, but unfortunately, I don't know, I'm just putting it back a little bit more, I don't know. Unfortunately, they don't put out enough power to do anything much useful anymore, those wild scorpions. They've just kind of given up on the power, so this is about the only thing I've got that's a two-cell. I've got smaller two-cells, like 450, 500, but this guy always needed something more like a thousand. I don't know. Let's see if we can. Get him to perform with this. He's carrying a little bit more weight than I like. That's the problem. And of course, we're worried about the sun because the sun is certainly going fast enough. So the battery is providing power. It's just the weight that's the problem. Same, the propeller's exactly the same propeller he had on before. Uh, 10 by 4.7. GWS, 10 by 4.7 slow flyer. I'm not keen on going to that end of the runway because of the bright sun there. You know, there's a bright sun hanging right over that end of the runway at the moment. Well, he seems to be flying fairly okay. I mean, he's just a you know, a slow flyer in circuits. That's all he was ever meant to be. GWS Pico Five stick minutes. kit. Five I, uh, in fact, what I, I picked this up, you know, I'm with a hot job lot of stuff I bought from a guy on Kijiji. The wind's blowing. There's a little bit of wind coming up now, I think, maybe rocking him. Well, no, I can hardly feel any wind. Oh, is there somebody else coming now? Heard something behind me. Oh, it might be a train going by. 
I am not going to wander around looking. This is the thing about flying. You kind of have to keep your eye on your plane. I've crashed planes before because somebody's come up behind me and it's distracted me. I've turned around to see who the heck it is coming up behind me because it's kind of, you know, a bit unnatural to sort of let someone walk right up behind you without seeing who they are. But you start looking around behind you when you're trying to fly a plane, depending what the plane is, and especially if it's a more jittery plane, and you, you can crash the plane. And I've done that before for sure. Um, the wings on this guy always, they're just on sort of basically like barbecue, you know, like kind of bamboo barbecue skewer things. One at the front and one at the back of them that stick into little plastic holders that came with the kit. And, um, and they always did bend up at rather an alarming angle when he was flying, even with those Wild Scorpion 1100 batteries. They may be bending up even a little bit even more with this battery because it's a, little, you know, it's a few grams heavier. It's not massively much heavier, but it's a few grams heavier. Don had his uh, slow stick like this out at the... I uh, must ask him what battery he uses. Mind you, because he's using a totally different motor. I think he actually said that he rewound that motor entirely. It burnt out and he rewound it with new wire, which is very hardcore. It's a brushless motor. This is a brushless motor. The plane, the kit would originally, well, I don't know that it came with any motor, actually. I don't remember. Time remaining. Three. Quite likely not. When I've bought GWS kits, I don't think they usually came with a motor, but, you, but they had motors you could buy for them, and the standard motor that this would have called for would, would have been a, um, actually, probably a geared brushed motor originally, I suspect. But this is a brushless motor. I well, had a brushless motor in when I got it. Uh, although it still had an FM receiver in when I got it, I put an orange receiver in it. I'm flying it on my DX9 with an orange receiver. Well, I mean, he sort of seems to be flying okay now. That's as much as as well as he ever flew. Um, basically, he's just a slow flyer. That's all he was ever meant to be. I'm a little concerned about the angle of those wings that they're bending up, although... As I say, they always did bend up, even with the old battery I flew in with. He would have flown with a, probably NIMH batteries originally, and they would have weighed a bit, I would imagine, as well. Time remaining, two minutes. Yeah, we should probably land him now. Although, mind you, that was from the old um, 1100 Wild Scorpions. This is a 1300, so he'd actually probably fly longer with this. Now, the question is, will this undercarriage hold up now um, to a landing? Mm, well, he sort of fell over sideways there. <sighs> he sort of fell over sideways, but... Uh, mm, uh, yeah, no, it is kind of coming unglued again, I think. I don't know. Yes, I think it is. You don't think that glue that's holding the undercarriage on is holding very well. It's a bit hard to say. Is that glue parted or not? I don't know. It only seems to be leaning over sideways alarmingly. It might just be the wire bending rather than the glue giving way. It's a bit hard to tell. It might just be the wire bending rather than the... Or actually, you know what else it might be? It might be just that the... Uh, it might be that that piece of wire in that is actually, is, I mean, he's only going into a hole drilled in that piece of wood. It may be that it's rotating in there. I didn't assemble this. It doesn't seem altogether a very rigid arrangement, it must be said. Let me try and take him off one more time. I don't know. I don't know. He don't know. See, I just sort of bent the undercarriage back again, but whether that's going to... Oh. I don't know whether the undercarriage is very reliable now. Whoa. Going a bit fast. He will go, he goes faster with this motor, of course. So let's cut the throttle back a bit and see if we can land him. Uh, no. <laughs> no. 
didn't get his nose up enough to land him there. At least it's still more or less level, but he tipped over. Don't think that did any harm to the propeller. Hmm. Odd, odd behaviour. It seems to take a moment. So that's just maybe something to do with the weird kind of ESC he's got in him. It seems to take a while when you put the throttle up. It seems to take a while for the uh, propeller to actually spin up. It doesn't go up right away. Oh well. Well, he's flying again. I don't know whether I'd feel very comfortable trying to fly him indoors in this, these, this condition, though. Not really. Uh, but he certainly is flying again. GWS Pico Stick.